Hey folks, Würfel here from the future. I have to give some additional information before we start into the sanding. Uh, I just watched the material I have caught so far and I noticed um, maybe I sound a little bit crazy with my measurement because I measure my dies during the sanding process. And I come to a very, very close tolerance and I just checked casino dice tolerance it's half a foul for casino dice and I'm in the same range you don't need to go that crazy you can take it a little bit less strictly with that from my perspective I'm a learned machinist so tight tolerances are the field I work in so I definitely um, go that way don't worry, you don't need to push your limits too hard for that. Do as best as you can. Take yourself some calipers to watch your, uh, your sanding process and to make sure you evenly bring down the material and you're good to go. If you compare it to some regular dice, they are way off. So you can easily become better than that. But you don't need to go that crazy and come down to a foul plus or minus. So... Definitely don't take it too serious at this point. And also, you see, um, I got this face sanded and I got this face sanded. The others are still rough. And of course, the opposite faces are sanded. I'm now at 3000 grit and that's where this video will end. I will do it in two parts. Uh, already several days have passed and I got only so far that I have four sides made. Um, so I will do a second part uh, where I go up a little bit more and especially do the polishing. I will need some practice to get back into polishing. I will show you. I came from the machining part and that is what my... Oh, some fingerprints. That was my last project. So polishing itself is not a problem. But I definitely need to get back on it. So you can see here, this one is one of my masterpieces in polishing. And you can see even the, the reflection of my light above. Um, it's, it's absolutely nice to see through. There's like no distortion. You can, you can see through it with no problem. Um, see there are no no tilts and nothing no streams so yeah that's just uh, a little startup here um, and now we just move on to the sanding part and that is where this video will lead you um, with this sanding you definitely are good to go and make the mold and cast your dice and then you can even polish up your dice you don't need to polish your masters but of course you can go that step and improve on that and that will come in a second part so let's jump right into sanding okay hey folks Wilfel here and today I want to show you how you prepare and sand and finish your master dies for making your molds so here I got for example my new D20 design and I will show you all the steps that you need to create your perfect masters. This is printed on a resin printer so it's not the shapeways material that I use uh, in my previous um, castings. So this will be a new experience for me as well. What will we need? So I got my cutting mat here mainly because it will be wet sanding so I want something waterproof to work on also I put a wooden board underneath that I know is completely straight so I don't have any larger bumps or um, bows and bends uh, from the desk then of course our dye we will need some water so we can um, clean our sandpaper uh, something to write some calipers. I prepared a table for our measurements. Of course, some gloves because all the wet 
stuff working in your hands is not the best and of course some wet sandpaper. In this case I range from 600 up to let me see 3000 grit. I also have a micro mesh polishing kit and this should go up to 8000 if I'm not uh, misleading here. So this is what we need. Um, first of all, when you receive your print, you might have small little bumps and um, little pips on them from the support material. You need to gently remove them because they tend to break off and by that you can break off a bit of material from your die so you can carefully you should carefully remove them with a rougher sandpaper like 400 grit or so i just did it on this one just to knock them down but not too much i don't want to start the the primary sanding of the surface just knock off those uh, leftover supports and then what i do I measure my complete die before I start sanding so I know each face distance and I will check in between all the sanding how much I take off of every side and which sides are the smallest so this is the goal that I want to reach all the uh, other faces should have the same distance so I measure them out notice them here and then I can see where I need to start because I don't know how much I need to work down on this material to become a smooth surface. So let's start here. 1 to 20. And we have So now we have all the measurements. This is our starting point. And the smallest face we have is between 8 and 13. So that's the point where we want to start. And we take off as little as needed to get a clean surface. The surface of these is already pretty smooth. So I will start with a 600 grit. Why I working at eight and thirteen? So I start with the thirteen. Just a bit of water here, and then you need to make sure you definitely sit on the surface. You don't want to wobble around. And then you gently start to move it in slow circles. And then you need to check the surface if there are any marks from the from the previous printing surface. So remove all the printing layers. You can check against the light so you can see there are no, no scratches left from the printing. Let me try to show you. So here for example are the printed surfaces. You can see some small lines over here. And this is now the smooth sanded surface. You would see those scratches as little shiny marks because the outer surface is already a little bit sanded and so it's losing its shine. Now I measure them again to see how much I took off this surface. So I took off 0 0.04 because we are now 
at 22.7. So I try to get the same amount off of the other side. So now it's V8, a little bit of water. And check the surface and measure again. So I got two and a half hundredths of a millimeter off. So there's a little bit more that I need to do. And now we are at 0.66. So this works pretty good. The surface is clean. So we are done with uh, that grid on that face. And move on to now get a better result. Our measurement is now set so this is this is the base now and now we are just refining the surface so we don't need to do anything now to come to a specific um, size so I will note myself this is the 400 grit column and now we have 0.66 as the base that we want to reach so all the other faces will be sanded to 0.66 and then I will start on from there to go higher in grids now we got 1200 I will skip the 800 for the moment to see how the material behaves Again, press it flat on, not too much pressure, and then gently circle it around. And it doesn't take much to already get a much better surface. Then I flip it over and do the same on the other side. So what I can tell from that point on the material is great, so it, it's really nice to sand it, it's really working perfectly. And now I can show you, we are 0.67, so I took off roughly half a hundred of a millimeter on each side, so that's 5 microns on each, pa uh, on each face, so really not much, you just need to barely touch it. So from here on we we will slowly come down in the measurement, but we will get definitely much better results on the surface. 1500. And of course, you can do the 400 grit on all faces in the beginning, then move on to the next. But I like to stay on one for the moment to explain everything compact and nicely. And the good thing about the wet sanding paper is, if you take a closer look here, if you can see it, if you see that white milky stuff in the water, that's all the, all the sanding dust that you take off with the water. So you don't need to wear a respirator, uh, it's not a mess in the kitchen or wherever, nothing all around uh, gets dusted, so it's a pretty clean process. Move on to 2500.
for the measurement records we are now at 0.6 so we took off 600 in these in these three steps so it's roughly 300 on each face that we took off so the last one that I have in this package is the 3000 grit and I think that's what I want to work with all the faces for the beginning is 3000 and after that we start on a polish pretty good so one thing that I like to test just to be sh uh, safe is is everything parallel so I go to the outermost point and you see it's 0.6 and then I turn around and measure here and you see we are a bit off here as well here again so it's slightly tilted that way so here is a little bit that I need to come off and the good thing is we can polish that off so with a little bit more pressure Try it on that one. And we are coming down that road. So we are a bit high here. Lower on this part. Higher here. So what you do is, I want to bring the, the upper face here, the upper side, a bit more down. So I put my pressure more on that face side when I hold it down. Just a little bit. Point 0.56. 0.57, So I think that's a point I'm pretty okay with. We have a little bit more to do in the end, so there's more to come. But that is pretty flat. So we are here now in the range of to foul, which is a thousandth of an inch, and no, no, we are within one foul, so that's, I think that's good enough. So, I meanwhile finished the second phase. I also recorded where I was, so we were at uh, 0.65 by the 400 grid, and at 3000 grit I went up to the same amount um, that is now more than half an hour of video material just from the starting my talking and all that stuff and doing two opposite faces so four faces in total from 20 so you see the whole process takes a lot of time I will definitely put the camera aside 
and work this without the need to talk and all that stuff so it will go a little bit quicker but I think that's maybe something that will take me the whole day just to finish off all the faces to the 3000 grit. So it's the next Saturday I try to work on finishing the d20 there are also all the other dice waiting for their finish and I try to bring you along as best as I can to get you the finishing part two for the polishing and thanks for watching so far and I hope to see you on the next video